it's Camille, and today I'm going to show you guys how I French braid my hair when it's straight. So the first thing you'll need are some hair scrunchies. I prefer the smaller ones, but I forgot to bring them. You'll also need a brush, and I love my Denman brush, and then something to part your hair. Okay, so let's get rid of these old braids. So now that you look like a crazy person, it's time to brush out your hair. You want to part it before you do that so then you get exactly what you need brushed to exactly which side, which will help make your braids look more uniform and smoother. Now that you've parted it down the center, you have two big poofs of hair on each side that need to be tamed. Let's start by brushing them. I'm using the Dunman brush as I said before, but you can use any like paddle brush, any brush like this. You could use a comb, whatever you're comfortable with, but I just like this one and how it doesn't tug on my hair and how it feels really good on my scalp. And now that it's divided into two sections that are smoothed down, you're gonna take a tiny triangle from the front of one side. And with that triangle of hair, you split it into three even sections, just like this. Now you're gonna take the right section and put it in the middle of the other two, just like that. And you do the same thing now with the section on the left. You put it in the middle of the other two. And that's what you're gonna be doing this whole time. Now that the initial braid is started, you're going to add a little bit of hair to each section after you put it on the edge. So I'm gonna put the side on the right back in the middle, since we did the left one last time, and now I'm gonna add some hair to the section on the right, because I just moved that one. So you wanna do that every time after you move the section. So now I'm gonna go back and put the left section in the middle, and now I have this little baby section, so I'm adding more hair to that one because I just moved the left section. So after you move it to the center, then you're going to add more hair. So you just wanna keep repeating that every time you move something from the right, you add more hair to the one on the right. And then every time you move something to the left, you're gonna go add more hair to the section that's on the left. I like to do a 45 degree angle because I think it looks good and it's a good benchmark angle so I know exactly what to do on the other side so they come out evenly. And now when you get to the base of your head and you no longer have more hair to braid into it, you're going to divide your hair into three sections and do a regular braid. It's the same braid that you were doing before, except you're not picking up extra hair every time you cross over to the middle. So you're just putting the left section in the middle, and then the right section in the middle, and then the left section in the middle, etc, etc, as we were doing before, but again, not adding hair because I don't think most of you guys grow hair on your necks or your chests, and if you did, I wouldn't encourage braiding that into your head hair. Now you need to secure the end with a hair tie so it doesn't unravel all of your wonderful work. Comment down below which side looks better. <laughs> I always start by brushing out the side before I braid it so everything is detangled and ready to be braided. I'm doing very little sections in the beginning as you see and continuing that throughout the whole rest of the side because the smaller sections of hair that you pick up each time the more detailed the braid is and I think it looks better like this than it does when you have really large sections. I'm gonna secure the end with a hair tie, and now we're done. That's literally it. This is probably the simplest tutorial I've ever made, but a bunch of you guys have asked for it, so I hope this video was helpful. If you wanna see how I braid my hair when it's curly, comment down below, and I'll make that video for you guys. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All of my social media is linked down below as well. But thank you, chameleons, so much for watching. I wish you all a happy, healthy life, and I will see you in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.